All right, so this video is gonna be slightly different than lots of the other videos you'll see on this channel. This one is a booked update. So I haven't done any of these at all, I don't think. I put up my prologue, which is probably gonna change, but that was just a little teaser. Anyways, I have, as of yesterday afternoon, I finished the first draft of my novel, which I'm very excited about. And this has been a journey since for over a year now. I started last March in planning, and now the first draft is actually finished. I'm quite happy about it. It's slightly under 58,000 words. I was aiming for 60, but I didn't want to put a bunch of fluff in it to push it up to the 60,000. And I'll need to go back and I'll need to put in a few chapters in there anyways that I realized I need to put in from writing further on. Anyway, so now that the first draft is done, I will be needing to edit at some point. That'll take a little bit of time. It's been suggested that I take a little bit of time and take a break from going through this specific book just so I can catch more mistakes and stuff like that. So I will be taking a couple weeks to just let that go out of my brain and then I'll come back and dive into reviewing it and editing it and changing things to make it a lot better. Every single author and source of uh, inspiration for writing has always said the first draft is crap. But very, very few people write a great first draft. It's often the second draft and the third draft that you actually make a good story. So all the books that you read, that's taken multiple revisions to go through it. And the first draft is normally not, not so great. So that's where I'm at at this point. It needs a lot of work. It's not the greatest. There are lots of things I want to tweak, make it better. Um, and hopefully, well, we'll see how long it takes. Hopefully it's not another year. That's, that's the plan not to do that. Anyways, in the meantime, um, during this downtime, I am actually preparing for my next book. I'm starting to plan that ahead right now. It's a secret. I'm not saying what exactly it is, but I have something different in mind for this next book. So I'm having fun in planning that out, seeing what that will be like, playing with um, some things that I didn't get to deal with in this first book and some things that I'm excited about for the next one. So. That is in the planning stage, just to keep my brain going and writing down some new ideas. I'll show you something. I don't know if this is interesting for you or not. I'm a math teacher, so I like numbers. I was writing down my writing and basically how much I've been um, writing each day and kind of how long it is. Um, I read a book by an independent author called Chris Fox. He wrote a book called 5,000 Words Per Hour. The whole goal of writing is to try and write a little bit faster. So instead of trying to edit while you write, it's just get words down on the page. So he had a spreadsheet that he tracks how many words per hour he does and how long it takes to write that. So I started doing this just to see kind of the progress. Uh, and as you can see here in February, I wasn't writing very fast. It was maybe 500. Uh, this is back when I wasn't writing very consistently. And the 24th, that's just when I started actually recording this. If I look at March, it's getting a bit better. Um, I wrote just over 9,000 words. And here you can see kind of the words per hour. Some days were terrible. That's okay, that happens. Some days were really great. I was on a roll being able to figure stuff out. Tracking that along and just a spreadsheet to see what it looks like. In general, it's fairly consistent, um, but it wasn't writing very consistently. You can you can take a look at days. There's some, some consistently. Uh, but once we get into April, this is where I really actually started hammering down and doing a lot of writing. You'll see here, after the beginning of April, I started almost consistently reaching a thousand words per hour. That's not that I wrote for an entire hour, um, but this is just where I'm getting. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's, it's just been a habit of consistently practicing this. And you'll notice I passed already last month how much I wrote, um, and it's two thirds through, through the month. Just seeing this, I'm starting to see this increase in words per hour other than this day, it was a rough day. Yeah, so that's that's kind of that. If you're interested, that's this is kind of how I'm pushing myself, tracking how much I'm writing, trying to push farther so that I'm being more efficient in how I'm writing, write quicker, not thinking as I go through it. I have I spend like a little bit of time before I write, just planning, okay, where does this chapter want to go? What am I trying to get through in this chapter? And then when I actually sit down and write, making sure there's no distractions, turning off the phone, and just hammer out words for however long. Normally you can see with my sprints, it's about 40 minutes is a typical kind of length. You can do some short ones, 20 minutes, just trying to write out as much as possible. You can write pretty fast if you just hunker down and, and get into that. 
if you find that interesting. If not, so be it. That is what's what's been motivating me to to push myself to write a little bit faster. Um, I'm using the time before my job starts in the morning with, with teaching. I write a little bit before school when my brain is fresh and try and just get down those words. So yeah, that is this little update. Yeah, what's my goal? I'm trying to edit and try and get this thing out by, by end of June would be great, but that's the end of the semester for teaching. So that's just gonna be a really busy time. We'll see if over the summer, if that's a better time. Um, but eventually, somehow I want to self-publish it up maybe on Amazon, possibly. We'll see. But I'm, I'm hoping over the summer that's when that will be released. That's my, that's my goal as of now. I also wanted to finish my first draft in, back in December. So we'll see. We'll see how long that takes. But that's, that's my short little update. And yeah, hopefully that was interesting for you. If not, you can ignore future updates.